Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be setting up my new B6 planner. Let me grab it. Um, it's this one here. This is the Simply Gilded Vegan Leather B6. It's a string planner. I've never used a string planner before. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm kind of winging it. I also don't know all the official names for everything. So to me, these are the stringy bits. I'm sure there's a professional name <laughs> for them, but that's what they are to me. Um, the little charm that I've got on here, it's so adorable. I've had it for really ages, maybe three years or so, and I can't remember what shop this was from. If I can somehow find it, I will link it down below, or if anybody recognises this little cutie thing, then uh, leave it down in the comments so everybody else knows. I kind of feel bad that I don't know where he came from. Um, so yeah, so... The first thing that I wanted to get for this obviously were inserts but that was a bit tricky because I don't actually know what I wanted to use this planner in particular for. Uh, I was going to move out of my Erin Condren and then use this as a weekly planner but I kind of got a bit frightened. Let me get my actual my planner. So my Erin Condren, I was a bit frightened about how I'm going to fit everything into a planner that's literally half the size. I, I don't know how I'm going to do that. That is the plan eventually. I do want to move into a smaller planner. I don't want to use my Erin Condren anymore. I'll grab this back out of the way. So the first place that I went was Annie Plans Printables and I was so overwhelmed because there was just so many options on there. So until I can figure out what size I need, I just thought I would print my own. So these ones I quickly designed. This is just a monthly view and I've printed it both sides so that way I can fold it and when you open it you'll still see a full month. Um, I've done those ones because I want to have a monthly section and I've also done a, oh, let me grab them. I also made a pre-plan section. This is something that I definitely wanted to use somewhere where I can pre-plan and write down things that are happening before I then film my plan with me in my Erin Condren. So this I think is going to be really helpful. I haven't chopped these ones down yet but obviously these ones I have chopped down and they are the right size. So that was my pre-plan section and my monthly section and then I also wanted an area where I can keep track of things that I've bought because I've gone a bit de-stash crazy lately on Facebook and just keep buying stuff. So um, I just quickly made up these boxes that say things I am waiting for and I've put like a little dot grid in there as well. So that can go in a section as well. And because there are four strings in this planner, I thought, well, I might as well come up with a fourth. So I decided I would have a food shop section. So in here, I can write down the meals that we'll be having this week and then the ingredients or the things that I'll need to buy to cook those particular meals. And then I think that's gonna make it a lot easier for me in the future because then I can just randomly pick one of these weeks and the shopping list is already there, the food's already there, we're good to go. So that is um, everything that I have printed out. I just quickly made them for myself. I know that they're not going to look as nice as everybody else's planners but once I get used to the size and know what I'm looking for I'll definitely be purchasing some more or better inserts. So I'm just going to quickly chop these down so they're the right size and then we'll come back and put them all in my planner. Okay, so that's all of my inserts cut and folded. The other thing that I was going to do, I've got a stack of uh, vellum papers. And I think what I will do is just pick four. Oh, <laughs> this has got a list of um, meals and then the shopping list that goes with it. So I can transfer this to one of my food sections. Anyway, um, I think I might just do the silver ones. One, two, three, and four. These ones are lovely, but this is a Christmassy one. And then this one is a gold one. And I kind of want them all to look the same. Well, for now, anyway. I thought I would use these Simply Gilded bows, or the bow, the bow seals. And I will kind of grab two, and I'll stick one on that side, and then one behind it. 
something like that. So probably they won't. I can't talk. They won't be labelled, but they'll have like a little tab bit on them, so I can see where each section is, and I think that looks super cute. So yeah, I mean I've just pulled the blue out because this is blue. So I need to find two, four, six, eight bow seals that kind of match. Oh, let me cut these down first. Let's do one thing at a time. Then I don't get confused. So I think I made this a little bit taller. Yeah, just marginally taller at the top and the bottom. I think I'll, I will do that. I'll keep with that size. So let me just chop all these down. It's so nerve wracking setting up a new planner. Especially when you don't actually know what the hell you're doing. <laughs> okay. Do you think I can chop all these in one? Maybe I'll do two at a time. Why oh, don't I just clip them? Oh, I've got a clip here. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? Then I know that they're all the same. Okay. Oh, that makes it much easier. So I'm just going to cut down there with my big noisy guillotine. Um, I haven't got any dashboards though, so I need to get some dashboards to like put underneath these. Or maybe some pretty paper, I've seen other people make them with pretty paper. You know what that means, we need to go on a stationary shopping spree. And I'm okay with that. Let me see if I can show you all these gorgeous patterns. How am I going to do that? Let's get a plain bit of paper first. Well, we've got grid paper. So blue one I'm not going to be using. That was just to get the size. So this one is silver foil and it's got really cute cups on there. Which is amazing because I drink 95 cups of tea and coffee every day. So that one I really like. I can't tell you where these are from because I bought them from a stash. This one is super cute as well. If anybody knows where these are from, then leave it down in the comments so I can go and check out their shop for more items. But this is so cute. I love the little cat cups. Adorable. This one is silver foil again, but it has what are these like floral elements on there and some little stars, which is cute. Simple but cute. And then this one is my favourite because it's hollow and foil. So even more sparkly. And it's got, I've got it upside down. It's got bows and stars and moons on there. Really adorable. So I love that one too. So I think I'll do the things I'm waiting for in this one. And then I'll do my pre-plan in my favourite one. No, I won't. I'll do that in my coffee bank because I'm normally drinking tea or coffee while I figure out what I'm doing next week. And then I'll put my food shop one in there and then my monthly in my favourite one. Okay, now I have a plan. So now I need to figure out the bow seals. Let me zoom you out a little bit. So I need to find, how many did I say? Two, four, six, eight bows. Okay, so those two match perfectly. So they'll go together. And then these two, I can do the peach. Uh, pink and pink, that's peach and peach. Maybe I'll do blue. Does that look okay? Do those four colors look okay? That's what I'm gonna do. Am I, am I though? Yes, I am. What color's on the other side of this? Oh, that one. Maybe I'll do that one. Okay, right. So let's figure this out then. Do I stick them in first? Do I put these in my planner first? Maybe. You watch, none of those will actually fit. <laughs> okay, so uh, that I'm going to want in first. Then that one. Then that one. And then this one last. So now I've folded them, what you do, in case you're like me and you have absolutely no idea, is you literally just put them in like that. Ooh, 
is two. Oh, all my bows are falling. No, I'll come back. And then my last one. Okay. Oh, so maybe I have made them a bit too long. Maybe I do need to trim them down. Oh, I see it's because it's on that side. Do I need to trim them down? Yeah. So I've made them a bit too big by that much. So they should actually be the same. Okay. Let me cut them and I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. Last one all cut. So that was my first rookie mistake. Okay. Now that they're in there, much better. I can shut my planner and then it all hanging out everywhere. <laughs> okay, so let's figure out the bows. So I think I might just do white at the top. So the only silver bow, or do I have silvers? I do have a silver bow. I could do silver on one side and gold on the other, right? Is there a rule against that? Mixing gold and silver? I don't think so. The sun's come out and my video's too bright now. Let me turn you down a little bit. It's a gorgeous day and very cloudy, so the sun keeps going in and out, which then messes up with my <laughs> lighting. Okay, um, oh, I didn't think how I was gonna do this, did I? So do we think like this? Well, that's how it's going. And then I will just match that up on the other side. The sun is pouring in through the window. Can you see here? <laughs> Gonna have to shut the blind. I shall do that in just a second. I wanna make sure that these are like nice and flush. So then I'm not left with any sticky ends. Oh, I like that. Oh, there we go. That's cute. Oh, let me just shut my blind real quick. Okay, that's better. <laughs> okay, so we've got one bow there, and then the next one down, I think I'm going to do pink. And I think I might have the rose gold on the top. Where is the page? Here. So I want to make sure that my bows... Uh, you can see all the bows and they're not hidden. So I've got four bows. One, two, three, four. I think that looks right about there. And then I'll stick the other one on the back. Was I going to do blue? I can't remember the colours that I picked out because I've just muddled them all up. I think I'll do blue. And if it wasn't blue, oh well, it is now. There-ish. There-ish will do. That one's pretty. Maybe I'll do that one and that one on the back. Or that one on the back. No, I'll do that one. Let me get all these bows out of the way. I've got more bows on the way though, but I'm just too impatient and I kind of want to set my planner up now so I can use it. Um, so what is the next one? The last one is this one. This one. So I'll put that near the bottom in there. And then I'll put... Oh. I've also got some dashboards coming too. They should be arriving next week. So oh, I can always go back and add a little dashboard under here, or pretty paper like I said. Okay, last bow going down. Perfect. Okay, well that wasn't too difficult. And all of my bows are there, so then I know I can flip to whichever section that I want. Nice. So the next bit is, obviously I need to some things to put in here which to be honest I don't really have anything that I want to put in 
pretty sure all of this will change once I know what I'm doing and how I want to use this. Um, I've just grabbed some bits from my shop. Um, also, it's not released yet, but coming up very soon are going to be these rainbow foiled poppet heads. And they are already on transfer paper, so you can stick them on anywhere. I've got um, a couple of little clips. I don't know if I'll be using them. I need to buy some cute clips. Definitely need a stationary shopping spree. And then I've got some random leftover poppet notepad pages as well. So I think... This is a journal card, it was my favourite one, um, they aren't available in my shop anymore, but it says that we heard there was cake, this is definitely me at any birthday party, or literally any party, <laughs> I'm there for the cake. So I'm going to pop that in, and then this one, these are available in my shop, you can get the planning princess, or, oh, if I can grab it, there we go, or you can get the planning prince. They're both available in my shop, but I think I'm just going to do the princess because it's pink and it matches. And then maybe I will just put my vinyl poppet down here. This is all very poppet heavy at the moment because, well, I've done it all myself. Um, but let's put the vinyl down on here. I think it will fit. Maybe I should have measured it first. Measure. Pfft. Who am I? Just gonna rub that on. I'm so excited for these to come out to the shop. They're gonna look so cute. I've got them everywhere because obviously I was printing them, not printing them, I was cutting them and kind of trying them out. So I've got them on my laptop. There's one on a phone. I've got them on my printing machine and my cutting machine. They're literally everywhere. But that's okay, you can never have too many poppets in your life. Um, right, I'm just going to leave that there for a second and I will come back. And then in the back, I thought it might be good to have some stickers that I'm probably going to use. So I've just grabbed my plant washi, my blank washi strips, and then these pastel dots. And I'll probably just put them in there. Oh, and then here I can put larger ones. I didn't grab any larger ones out. I've only got my coffee, but you're not going to see them there. So, take them out there. But I thought it would be handy to have some post-it notes. So I'm just going to put a few of these in. Maybe not all of them. I've got them around the wrong way. And I will put a little paper clip there. Just to hold them. Or I could do a flat one, I suppose. This one's got a cute cat on it. That's there, let's peel this other thing off. Uh, I don't actually know if it'll stick on leather. I've never tried it on leather. So I guess we'll figure this out together. Seems like it does. It does. Good to know. So shiny. Okay, so I think I have finally fit. Oh, I didn't think about this, did I? Will that go in between? Oh, it goes in between the bows. It's like I planned it. I really didn't. Um, but that is how I have set up my Simply Gilded B6. And you should just open it. Everything's falling out already, but that's okay. Maybe I'll put a little bit of double sided tape behind there just to keep that secure although like I said all of this is going to change I know it is because I've just quickly put this together just to use it and get an idea of how I want to use this and what inserts I want to use get rid of them and um, so my first section is going to be my monthly section so I'll use this one for April my next section is my pre-plan this is probably going to be my most used section and then I've got the things I'm waiting for which I've already can fill this out. I've been waiting for quite a few bits, so that's exciting. I can just put it in there. And then here is where I'm going to be putting my meals for the week and then any ingredients that I need to cook those meals. So then it's just a lot easier when I'm doing my food shop. And also I'm so fed up with cooking the same meals every single day, every single week. So now I can change it up because I can just flip to any single one. And there we go. And then I've just got my Poppet notepad and a few stickers. Uh, but that's it. 
for the setup. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you did, then make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you've got any suggestions or helpful hints for me, definitely leave them down below because I'm very new to this, as you can probably tell. Um, but I have really enjoyed setting up so far. I'm excited to share new things when I buy them and placing them in my planner. So I will probably be doing some updates on this as time goes on. But I hope wherever you are, you are having a beautiful day and I will speak to you all next time. Bye guys.